Hey guys, so I've been uh, video vlogging a lot lately and I want to start doing it in my car. And usually I use my DSLR with like my microphone and my pistol grip on it, but um, I can't hook that into my car. My camera's pretty heavy. So I was like, well, maybe I should use my phone. So if you wonder what I did to my phone, all I did is I went to Walmart and I bought rubber bands and I put it on my rear view mirror. Like super LOLs, right? So that's how I'm gonna vlog for now until I come up with a better idea. Honestly guys, with my new video contraption here with my um, phone hooked to my rear view mirror with rubber bands, I went to Walmart and the suction cup hooks were like 20 bucks. And I couldn't justify buying one when I could buy a bag of rubber bands for 67 cents. So fun fact about Tiffany, I am gluten intolerant and yes, I'm eating a bagel, but some days I'm just like, I want a bagel from whipped cream cheese from Dunkin' Donuts. So what I do, get a bag of whipped cream cheese from Dunkin' Donuts. Hey guys, I, uh, I just hopped on Route 2A. I've never been this way past Olds, and I always take I-95 home and like, back to Prescott because it's the quickest way. So apparently Route 2A is one of the most haunted roads in the country. It's out by Haynesville, I believe the town is called. The story goes that there is this woman on the road who, um, she can be seen like, she's really like distressed. Apparently her husband had gotten in a car wreck and she's the only one that had escaped and she needed help so she would try to flag down on drivers and people would stop and then once they invite her into their car, uh, she would disappear. But I know Route 2A is a popular like trucker route. It's known to be a pretty treacherous um, way because like in the winter it can be it has like a lot of twists and turns. I also heard that there's a song written after this road. It's called uh, A Tombstone Every Mile. I, believe. I think I knew what they meant for A Tombstone Every Mile. I think he was uh, referring to the accidents that happened on the route, and so there was like a memorial or like someone died like every mile or something. But hopefully there's like a like a town line sign that says Welcome to Hansville been haunted since 19 or whatever. Yeah, I wonder why exactly, like, how many people have, like, really recorded this? How did it become, like, a haunted, like, road? Like, was it just that people are like, oh, I just want to make a story, so to scare everybody, and then it just, like, got passed along? Or, like, how did these things even start? But, like, what determines to be, like, something to be the most haunted road in the country just because of what people say? Like, no one's ever, like, documented this. No one's got it on film. No one's, like, got pictures. No one's, like, I don't know where these stories came from. Yep, definitely in the middle of nowhere. So it's kind of like they just like, let's put a road straight through the woods here. I just passed through um, Haynesville, saw nothing. It's actually like this like super small, like hick little town. Um, I saw like some houses and some other places. I don't even sure I saw a gas station. It was a pretty tiny little place. Yeah, saw no ghosts, nothing expected to. But yeah, so I've been through Haynesville, Maine. I'm right now on one of the most haunted roads in the United States. So I think I'm gonna um, probably listen to my tunes for a while. So going on one of the most uh, haunted roads in the country was not as interesting as I thought it'd be. I am gonna go home and have a really nice Thanksgiving break with my family. Peace.